Whoever locked the door is stronger than me. I didn't lock the door when I came in. A detention cell for crew members? Or maybe for rowdy passengers? Cargo hold seems to be used as a changing room for the crew as well, or at least the part of the crew that doesn't do their work in white suits. A chair is the last thing I need right now. I was sitting long enough over there in the corner. There's some blood and hair stuck to the pipe. Hair I really can't afford to lose. Hmm. I might be able to use the pipe on the door upstairs. I don't really have any other option. I'll hold it on the blood spattered end. After all, we already know who the victim is. Whoever locked the door is stronger than me. I should be careful. The gunman may still be nearby. Zellner. I was jumped in the cargo hold. Of course you were. Here, look. Careful how you hold it. There could be fingerprints on the end. Surely you don't expect me to believe you. I was inspecting the trunk. I found it in the cargo hold and it was clear that someone had hidden inside it to board the ship. Some people are willing to go to great lengths to be a part of this journey. Indeed. Whoever it was, they struck me on the head from behind with the pipe while I was looking for clues. Oh, and they shot at me as well. Ridiculous. You wanted to come along. Orders be damned, and so you found a way to stay here. I should throw you overboard. I would have dreamed up something less painful. Hmm, true. That doesn't look good. See? And there's a bullet wedged in a wooden crate down there. I don't have a gun. The doctor should have a look at it. Come with me. Inspector Legrand and Constable Zellner. So you have decided to join us on our journey after all. So it would seem. We are searching for Dr. Gebhardt. I'm just fine, Captain Conti. <laughs> the Conti. I'm in control. I can manage. Tell James he absolutely must wake me at a quarter to ten. Certainly, madam. Absolutely. I shall see that he does. And now? I shall return to my chambers. You'll be in the bar tonight at ten, Inspector? If that's what you wish. It will be spectacular. I promise. The fresh sea air and perhaps a glass of champagne to many. But I'm glad that you decided to join us on our journey to Cairo. 
Not quite voluntarily, so he says. I was jumped from behind. But no, that that is Dr. Gephardt should have a look at him, Captain De Conti. Of course. Please, have a seat in the saloon, Constable Zelna. I'll summon the doctor. Ah, doctor, there you are. Our brave Constable Zelna was attacked. Struck on the head. Oh. Sit down, please. Now, please, tell me exactly what happened. I think you've got a stowaway on board. I was jumped. Intolerable. I'll have the crew search every nook and cranny of the ship. And of course, Mr. Zelna, you are cordially invited to travel as our special guest. Good to know that at least one man doesn't want to throw me overboard. Is it bad? Yes, it hurts a lot. I spoke with Dr. Gebhardt. He suffered a violent blow to the back of the head. I cannot really say how bad it is. But I can. It really hurts. Why didn't anyone come looking for me? Didn't anyone notice that I didn't come back from the cargo hold? We did search for you, but we couldn't find you. Who was supposed to search the cargo hold? Constable Oliver. I'll have a talk with him about that later. I should hope so. How many fingers do you see? Three fingers. Okay. Where are we, and, and what time is it? I must have been out for ages. It's just after 8 p.m. You just missed dinner, but we'll all meet here in the saloon at 10 o'clock to have a drink together. Greeting the passengers personally is a tradition I will not break, even on this unusual journey. You're all right now, Constable. The bleeding has stopped, and the wound looks good. You may have a mild concussion. You just need a good night's sleep. And tomorrow, your only worries will be a headache <laughs> and an impressive bump. Thanks. That's a good enough reason to celebrate. Enough about crooks and thieves. From now on, you can start to enjoy your free cruise. <laughs> Inspector! What? A dark shadow. Upper deck, just now. Go, let's have a look. I'll join you. Me too. No, you stay here. Do you want to make this an argument? Robert, go to the Baroness and don't let her out of your sight. Zellner, you're coming to the port side. Doctor, you go to starboard. I'll start at the forecastle and work my way back to the two of you. Understood? But... Baroness von Trebitz! Hello? Baroness von Trebitz? Open the door! All right, Doc. I'm off. Oh no. I'm not going on a manhunt all by myself. Are you okay? Maybe you had better take a rest in case the blow was more severe. I'm okay. Zelda, up here! Come on, I think it came from up there. Sure, you just wanted to get a breath of fresh air. Zelna, look who we have here. Well, if that's not our shadow. And our stowaway. Spend any time hiding in a trunk recently? Uh, me do, do nothing. He claims to be part of the crew. Just wanted to get some fresh air. Of course. The Baroness won't open the door, sir. Understood. Take him to the detention cell, Robert.
You were right. There was a stowaway. Yes, but he can't be the Raven. He's too young. Right, but that doesn't mean that the Raven isn't lurking here as well. What was that? A shot! It came from one of the cabins. Oh no! Baroness von Trebitz? Baroness! Open the door! Step aside, please. We have a murder on our hands, gentlemen. Hurry, Zellner. The murderer still has to be nearby. There is practically no one on deck. Anyone who's outside is a suspect. This time, we'll get him. Zellner, are you okay? Yes. Come on. We have to... Zellner! Zellner! Merda! Ah, you awake? Sleep well, did you? Save your breath. What's the status of the investigation? Don't take that tone with me. While you were sleeping, we were working. I didn't pass out last night because of the blow to my head, did I? Seems unlikely. Inspector Legrand thinks you were drugged. But how? The champagne. Who gave you the glass of champagne? Hmm. Captain De Conti. Interesting. 